What rating should Lionel Messi get in FIFA 21? Hola amigos, I'm your boy Viva La FIFA and incredible that you're all watching to my FIFA 21 top 10 highest rated player predictions for the Spanish La Liga. Besides Lionel Messi and the top 10, I've also added in a couple of honorable mentions. Players that just didn't make it in that top 10 but have a very high rating, 86 or 87, but have a very special card, an interesting card to look forward to. So let me know if you click the i button who is your personal favorite player in the Spanish La Liga? Is that Lionel Messi or somebody else? And if you love the vid and your favorite player is in here, smash a thumbs up, subscribe and put on the notification bell. We are starting off with Frankie de Jong. And Frankie de Jong was signed up for almost 80 million pounds. And I know some people don't think he is well showing up 80 mil on the pitch. But don't forget, the coaches... Both Valverde and Sestien are using him on the wrong position. With Ajax, he played as a CDM, but that spot is given away to Sergio Busquets. So he has to play in a position that he wasn't a superstar at. Sometimes on the camp position, other times as a box-to-box -box center mid, and that is not the strength of Frankie de Jong. But besides playing outside of his normal position, he still contributed with some inform cards in FIFA, goals and assists, and a great link with Lionel Messi. So I can see him go up from 85 to 86, and with that he looks like an amazing card to start off with. Jordi Alba is 30 years old. Last season he was the assist king of Europe, coming from a fullback that was so great he received an upgrade to 88 in FIFA 19. He already went down to 87 in FIFA 20, and I expect another downgrade coming back to 86 or 85, because if we're honest and we compare Jordi Alba with the right back position in the world, it's a little bit strange. Somehow EA boosted the left backs and, and weakened the right backs. For example, Kyle Walker is the best right back in the game at the start. 84 rated. Trent Arlethander Arnold only, well, 82 rated, 83 rated. Well, it's not fair, you know what I mean? So I think the left backs will go down slightly, the right backs will go up, and Alba is a victim of that. The man who is keeping Samuel Umtiti on the bench is Lengle of Barcelona. After his move from Real Sociedad, he started very strong. With that, Umtiti is forcing a way out this summer. Umtiti, I think, will go down with a minus one or minus two. For Lengle, I can see a plus one or plus two coming his way, and he totally deserves it. The real question is, will Luka Modric still play in the La Liga after the summer? I think the answer will be no. He is heavily linked with a move to Inter Miami of David Beckham in the MLS. But well, I still had to put him in the prediction video because you never know what will happen with the coronavirus and the contracts of the football players. Luka Modric, well, he's 34 years old. Ballon d'Or winner of 2018 in his prime. I think a 90 rated card is too high for him at the moment. He has to come down to 87. Just a couple of honorable mentions to go when this one is one of the most exciting Rafael Varane going up from 85 to 87 because alongside Sergio Ramos he's one of the best center backs in the world his pace it's incredible nobody can outrun him as a striker not even Aubameyang he will have a tough task against Varane so for me the pace can be even higher but I know EA won't do that a total upgrade for Rafael Varane EA can't wait with that and this makes him, I think, the best center back in the game together with Virgil van Dijk according to the stats. We are still not in the top 10. With Gerard Piquet, we have another center back in this list. Piquet got a screen card that was absolutely insane. It boosted up his pace and physicality and with that the player looks like a machine in the game. In real life, Piquet is 33 years old. He might retire after next season, he said that in the press. With the age, of course, normally you will get a pace downgrade, but I think the pace of 56 is a little bit too low for PK. I think 58 is more realistic. The physicality, the defending for me can go down slightly because with the age that will happen. The other stats will go up and down a little bit. EA will focus on it, but I think the rating will stay the same. Only two more players to go in the honorable mentions and one of them is Thibaut Courtois. As you can see, I think he deserves upgrades in the majority of his stats. Will that inflict an upgrade overall? 
well, that can happen. He can go back to 89, but so far I think he's having a steady season. Courtois saved himself and revived his career with Zinedine Zidane at the wheel. I hope he can keep it up. If he can, 89, I won't rule it out. And the last player to finish just outside the top 10 for me is Karim Benzema. Why does he deserve an overall upgrade? Well, in all honesty, guys, I think the 82 shooting for a player like Karim B, who scored over 20 goals, is way too low. So if the shooting goes up to 86 or 87, well, that would be pretty realistic in comparison with his performances on the real-life pitch, an overall upgrade will be activated. Starting off the top 10 with Casemiro, and of course, also all the other 88 rated players could be on this spot, but I go for Casemiro because he is, well, this season one of the best players and most consistent ones on the midfield of Real Madrid. Toni Kroos is also great, Luka Modric on the bench in the starting 11, Isco, same story, Valverde, great breakthrough, but he is not in the video because his rating won't be higher than 82, 83 so far. Casemiro added something special this season in his game and that is scoring goals, with that also a plus 3 on the shooting and making the card even better to use on several positions, not only as a CDM. One of the strangest players to talk about, and guys hear me out, is Antoine Griezmann. He got 22 goals this season, and I count the friendly preseason European League, Nation League, Champs League, La Liga, Copa del Rey, etc. all together. But still, in 50 games, 22 goals, 15 assists for Barcelona. A player like that doesn't deserve a downgrade. I agree with that. But he also played as a left winger. And if you move him with his pace down the wing, his stats will go down. I can't help it. Well, not his stats, but the overall stat. You know what I mean. So, I love Antoine Griezmann. He's a super hard-working professional, but... If he gets the position change and nothing changes with his pace, he will be facing a downgrade and that is undeserved. Toni Kroos also plays a good season and after being downgraded from FIFA 19 to FIFA 20, EA has to make it up with him because Kroos is playing a good season, scored a couple of nice goals, assisted alongside uh, Casemiro also in a couple of games, so he is good, he is decent, he's only 30 years old, he can play 2-3 seasons at the top of his career and I think an 89 rated card for Kroos would be nice. At number 7 we have Sergio Busquets, one of the best CDMs of all time and if you think Viva you're wearing a Real Madrid shirt guys I'm a fan of Atletico but I also respect all the teams in the Spanish La Liga so that is why I'm wearing Real, Barca, Valencia, Atletico Club de Bilbao all together so well focus on Sergio Busquets I think his passing is way too low same for the pace if he upgrades that, I'm not sure if the card looks good enough for a 90 rated CDM. He can get it in my case because I think he belongs still with the best players in the planet on that CDM spot. But with that low pace, I'm afraid he can't touch it. Number 6 is Eden Nazar. If he kept the stats he had last season, he would have been in the top 3. But, well, a season of injuries is a downgrade. And before people will say, Viva, you hate him, blah, 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 most of the time, go in the comment section. We're talking about 5 years old or people that are acting like a 5 year old. Because if you know EA, and this guy has to thank himself for his injuries because he was way too fast when he returned from vacation he never became truly match fit and if you play games on such a high level well what's the consequence injuries so Hazar has to blame one man and one man only and that is himself I think he will be hit with a minus 2 downgrade to 89 and then still EA is pretty generous to Eden Hazar because he built up his card step by step and that is why I don't think the downgrade will be bigger but I think he deserves it. At number 5 we have Luis Suarez and before you will say huh, downgrading in Nazar but not Suarez he was also injured yeah guys but Suarez he scored 20 goals this season before getting injured Hazar did nothing special so that is why Suarez in my opinion should keep his 89 rated card if he could have kept it going without an injury, I could say 90 rated would be nice for Suarez. For now, 89 will stay 89. Some changes in the stats, but nothing more than that. Once he was the best center back in the FIFA game, Sergio Ramos, El Capitano, 34 years old. And with age, downgrades come. And if you're watching this video a little bit longer, you can see in this top 10, 
quite a lot of older players in the Spanish La Liga. That also means that players are playing in their prime at a higher age, of course, but also that the La Liga sides need to focus on younger players to strengthen their team. Ramos is still a true leader, but he will be downgraded in, I think, the physicality stat. I also think the speed will go down. For me, the shooting can go up because his penalty kick taking is very nice. So, Looking to the stat, 89, he can keep it. I respect all the players, just like Giorgio Cellini, etc. So that is why I think Ramos could stay 89 rated, like if you agree. At number 3, we find the goalkeeper Marek André Ter Stegen. Now he is a 90 rated goalkeeper. I ask my uh, viewers on my channel in the community a lot of times, what rating do you think is fair for that or that player? And I use it in my videos. And you all voted 91 rated for Marek André Ter Stegen. I upgraded a couple of the stats. Now he looks like one of the best goalkeepers ever in the game. And well, guys, if you tried him out in FUT20, you know he is an amazing goalkeeper that nobody will get past. How good you are, there is still one better. That is the feeling Mark andre Ter Stegen must have with Jan Oblak in the La Liga. The Atletico Madrid goalkeeper became a legend against Liverpool at Anfield. He made save after save and Adrian, he made failure after failure. The big difference between the two teams were the goalkeepers. But that is going on the whole season long. Jan Oblak is always saving Atletico. He is super consistent, very reliable and an amazing goalkeeper for the team of Atleti Club de Madrid. It is a goalkeeper that is linked with a move to Chelsea for 100 million pounds plus, but now with the coronavirus, I think a lot of things won't happen on the transfer market. Do you think, guys, Jan Oblak should be 92 rated? Smash a thumbs up if you agree. And the number one, and this isn't a big surprise, is Lionel Messi. But guys, I want to discuss something with you, and I hope also the Lionel Messi fans can handle it. If you're a five year old or just acting once again like a five year old, just go away from this video. Walk away, just walk away. Don't go to the comment section and say, yeah, Messi is the best in the world. Guys, I still think Messi is an amazing player, but I like to discuss with the majority of my people watching who are mature, the rating of Messi. So let me know your prediction, guys, down below. Does Messi deserve 94 or 93? And here's my story. Messi is also getting older. His defensive work is crap. Let's be honest. He isn't moving a single toenail if he has to do defensive work. So defending 39 for me is way too high. His defending in a game is maybe 20, 22 if we're realistic looking to Messi on the pitch. The shooting, the passing, for me, that can go up. The pace step by step will go down. So if you focus on a pace downgrade and a downgrade in the defending plus the physicality because that will happen as well, Lionel Messi will go down overall. It is no secret that EA needed to pimp up the defending stats of Messi to keep him so high rated. I don't think that is realistic if I see him play on the pitch. So Messi fans, especially the Messi fans, can you be realistic about your favorite player, then drop it down in the comment section. You can disagree with me, that is no problem, but just let it know in a very mature way in the comment section below. I think he is an amazing player. For me, he can stay 94, but maybe 93 is more fair in comparison with all the other players in the game and to his FIFA stats. Well, guys, if you love the vid, don't forget to smash a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and put on the notification bell. I thank you for watching. Wish you all a nice day. Stay safe from the coronavirus and as you know for me keep it cool keep it real and ciao for now Echoes of your words crashing into me.